Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Zoo in Minecraft. We have some plans today, but first, but first, I've been connecting paths and I've been growing trees. In fact, I've been growing these, these trees so that I can have some uh, some actual spruce wood because I don't have a whole lot of spruce wood. These guys take a really long time to... I bet if I chop this down, I bet I wouldn't even have like... Would it even give me one log? I'm going to give it a little bit more time to get a little bit thicker. I think, yeah. Anyway, I've laid out another exhibit here, and today's exhibit, it might be a little bit too big, though, for what I have planned now that I look at it. Ooh, ooh, be careful over here, by the way. This is, ooh, and I plan to turn this into, like, a little um, viewing thing as well. I'm not sure I'm going to put an animal in here, but just because it's got the lava, the animal would surely die. Speaking of animals surely dying, let's go over here and take a look at the red-billed tropic bird. It's dead. It's not here. Yeah, I got a message while I was, um... Well, I was marking that territory off that it drowned. So that's troubling. That's really, really troubling. I don't know what to do about that because I really want water in this exhibit. Maybe I'll wait until the update. Maybe they fix those issues. Speaking of which, the update is coming in a, in about a week, I think. Maybe even less than a week. Very excited about it. Um, and then I got another message that Nancy died. And I, I think Nancy drowned as well. Come to think of it. I don't remember who Nancy was, guys. <laughs> I think I have a list around here somewhere. And when I say around here, by the way, this this Bengal tiger loves it up there in the tree. Um, I think I have a list in like my office somewhere where I wrote down the name of people and what tigers or what tigers, what animals they were. So I'll try to find out who Nancy is. But Nancy, if you're watching, if you're watching on the tubes, wow, that is a real close up. You can see my pores. If you're watching. Let me know what animal you were named after so that I know which one died. I don't think it was a kangaroo. I've I've seen the kangaroo exhibit. There's a lot of them. But who knows? Anyway, yeah, I've been connecting pathways here. And we're getting to a section of the zoo here which is a little bit more difficult because it's the edge, right? Uh, I haven't told you what I'm putting in here yet. But you will in a second. You'll know in a second. I might change it up though. Okay. Let's just deal with this right now. The plan was to put an okapi in here. One Single solitary okapi. That's not one of my guys, by the way. He's wild. Um, but it's really, really big. They they live in the densely forested uh, rainforests of Africa. So I was going to make the back mainly trees and then have a sparser trees along the front. But man, looking at it now, it seems... It seems massive. And I don't think I could put anything in, the, in with the okapi because they're relatively solitary animals. It's worrying me a little bit. I guess I could put lions in here, a pride of lions. Uh, maybe, maybe elephant too small for elephants. Uh, maybe uh, the oh the the roe deer. Oh, that might be a thing. We might have to go catch them though. I don't think I have any. Anyway, let's get back to what I was talking about originally. I'm kind of all over the place right now. The pathways are kind of tough over here because first of all we got a pathway coming from over here. And I already connected it to our uh, tropical bird exhibit in here. And it goes all the way through to the other side. And we got some lamps here, by the way. Then I got the path coming around here because it makes sense. We're not just going to have this path come through here and then end over here. We have to have it connect. So now this path has to connect over here. The trouble is we have also a path here. And we also have a path here, which leads to the path around here. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking... Rum and Red Bull. I hate that song. I'm not sure why that was in my head right now. I'm thinking maybe I do something like this where I connect this path. Do I, well, did I run out of dirt? Oh, come on now. This dirt's probably going to have to come off anyway. So let's grab this real quick. Uh, I'm thinking I connect this path over here to... By the way, if you hear if you're banging outside my door, it's, it's not anybody trying to get in. It's It's my robot vacuum banging away at my door. I'm thinking we connect this path through to here, which connects here and then connects there. And over here, this might lead to a different exhibit. This this little path over here this way though, I think what I'm going to do here is put glass over the enclo or the the ravine and have Do you hear it? Do you guys hear it? It's right outside my door. Um, I'm going to put glass over the ravine as kind of like a feature. And then I'm going to um, kind of cordon this area off with some trees and maybe a park bench and such. Just a little rest area. Uh, but for now, let's connect these paths and then let me figure out what the heck I'm going to build in this. It's too it's too big for an okapi. Uh, maybe not. 
you know what? When I look at it from this way, it's really wide, but it's not very deep. So maybe an Okapi would be kind of cool for this exhibit. It will require a whole lot of trees, though, because these guys like densely forested areas. Well, I've sort of made up my mind here. I'm going to go with the European roe deer. Um, it's just too big for one, one animal. You know, the Okapi is just too big for the Okapi. Way too big. So we're going to put the Okapi probably over here, actually. There's a little bit of space between this walkway and this river. So we're going to put the Okapi here. We're going to put the European roe deer there. I've already covered this up in glass, and it looks awesome. This is definitely... Uh, mm, 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 mm. It's tough glass, guys. It's tough glass. It's not going to break. Trust me. Foreshadowing. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Um, that'd be really cool, actually, if Minecraft glass could break, whether you, like, let's say a heavy mob was on it, or, or many mobs. Ooh. Did not anticipate that. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to cover it up and pretend we never saw it, because I don't want my European roe deer, who, by the way, are definitely afraid of heights. Just kidding. Um, I don't want them. I don't want them falling down that thing. So we're gonna be a little careful about that, and we are going to cover it up. This is a river, by the way, that I'm digging out. Um, just a rough river. I don't think it's gonna be too deep because I'm always afraid of animals drowning. So I think we're just gonna keep it like that for now. I don't like how straight that is. It kind of opens up over here and goes and it gets a little bit more narrow over there. But the European roe deer, guys. Um, I'm going to go look for them first because I was going to start decorating the exhibit, which is what I usually do. I usually like make the exhibits and then go and catch the animals. Uh, assuming I don't have them already. I don't think I did. I think I, I remember I saw them a couple times and then I didn't catch them. I'm going to check my, my chest real quick just to be sure, but I don't think I did. But yeah, normally I design the exhibit and then go catch the animals, but... I want, like, online, if you if you search European roe deer, they have multiple... Hi! Hi to you, too! They have a lot of, um, kind of habitats that they can, that they can, that they can habitate. <laughs> um, so I want to kind of... Oh, are you sleeping in the middle of the day? Wow, look at you! Are you inside or outside the exhibit? Son of a... Okay. It's not a zoo episode. Oh, I got one more lamppost to put up, too. It's not a zoo episode if I don't catch a loose kangaroo. You guys are going to... Sasha. Unbelievable. Sasha. of All the... Oh, dang it. My net broke, too. I should probably make more nets, too, before I go out. But what I was going to say is... Oh, lag spike. What I was going to say uh, is that um, if you look up the European roe deer habitat, they kind of don't have a set habitat. They just, they just kind of, like... They have a bunch of different areas they can be in. So I want to make it look like the Minecraft, um, I guess, biome that I found them in. And I think that's like a, a, a spruce forest, if I if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure that's a spruce forest, but I'm not sure. But anyway, let me go check my uh, chest, see if I don't have them already. I'm pretty sure I don't. And then we're going we're gonna to get going. You know, what I haven't tried yet is the really hard, uh, or not hard, but like the, the one that's like this. So is this, does this last longer? New recipes unlocked. Huh. Maybe this one lasts longer. I certainly hope so. Should we try it on an animal or a person? <laughs> like these guys here. Let's let, oh, but then I won't be able to get them back in. Uh, is there anything in the water here that I can try it on? Of course not. I can't wait until the new update, guys. New animals? New animations, bug fixes, I can only imagine. Um, yeah, I'm pumped. I am pumped. Maybe we, we go into the bat exhibit and catch a bat. I feel like this better be more powerful than the ones that I've been using because... Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Come here, little bat. I got you. It still seems like it's the same. Gelb master. Hey, buddy. Ooh, was Nancy a bat? No, I don't think so. Um, okay, well, it seems like it's the same, so I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I made one, two, three, four. I, I could have made a lot more, couldn't I? Wait, I still have enough string to make a few different, or a few of the of the weaker ones. Weaker, a.k.a. Or, air quotes, weaker. How's everybody in here? Everybody good? Good. You know, I was looking... Hi, Ethan. 
How you doing? Oh, you're not in your little cave. I love it when you're in your little cave, but today is not that day, is it, Ethan? How about all you guys, little Ulysses and friends? I just saw Ulysses not long, not long ago. I think he's up in the food. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, my unnamed Fiji Bandit Iguanas. Everybody's looking good there. I got, of course, my frogs, which I'm always looking for new and vivid colors, vivid coloration. And then, of course, my Japanese giant salamander, which is no longer trapped inside that block. That makes me very, very happy. I've been looking for this thing forever. Okay. And, oh, I forgot you, too, the uh, the basilisk. Sorry. I Where are you? Okay, there you are. A beautiful face. Um, yeah, I've been looking for this thing forever, and I forgot that it was actually here. So, um, that's a shame. Anyway, I have it now. Uh, let's go catch some European roe deer right after I sleep. Look away. I'm deforesting the area. I need some of this spruce wood, guys. I know, this kind of sucks. I'm taking away habitats and stuff, but I need some of this spruce wood. By the way, ooh, oh, this is hard. This is hard to do it. Um, I think it was a taiga biome that I found the roe deer in, but I think it was a cold taiga. Now that I see these trees, I remember like, oh, yeah, I feel like I, I saw them around these trees. But the problem is uh, it was a cold taiga and, oh, hi, buddy. It was a cold taiga, and I don't see one around here anywhere, so I only got nine spruce wood from that. Seriously? Hey, dude, what do you have for sale? <gasps> Rabbit meat! Oh, I don't have any gold on me. Rabbit meat's so hard. We're still looking for rabbits, too. We gotta make a rabbit pen to keep all these rabbits that we're gonna need for our carnivores, like the hyenas. The hyenas are totally rabbit, rabbit meat eaters. Um, and there's no sense in capturing him, because... As soon as I put him down again, his his trades are going to change, so that's kind of pointless. I'm going to chop down a few of these and then hopefully use these guys to farm some more spruce. The problem is you don't get a whole lot of spruce with these uh, cones. I mean, I still have some back at the base, but I'm kind of running low, so um, this is going to have to happen. Dude, you might want to steer clear of these falling trees. Just saying. I should have brought that guide with me that tells you what animals spawn in which biomes. Although I'm, I'm not sure if the roe deer is like a, a, a Zawa mod or a Zawa add-on. Hi, buddy! I was just talking about you earlier. Um, so, yeah, I was I was hoping maybe I'd find them here. This is a snowy forest biome, but that is not the... Are you, are you ever aggressive or are you good? Can I pet you? Just right-clicking pet? How cool would that? For some reason, I felt the need to right-click to see if I could pet him. Um, okay, let's take a look at the map here. We've been all over this world. Um, this is a maple woods. That is a dead swamp. This is an extreme hills a meadow. Maple woods. What do we have here? A redwood forest. What did we? No, it wasn't in redwood forests. Man, I should have taken notes. A meadow. Oh gosh, it's getting pretty far now. What's it? A wetland? Highland? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Right over. Is this cold taiga? Taiga, uppercut. Uh, where am I at? Where am I at? I'm I'm around here somewhere, ain't I? I'm right here. Okay, so we just gotta basically go uh, northwest a little bit. Kind of. Here, let's take the boat. I always bring the boat with me. This shouldn't be too... I'm pretty sure it was Cold Taiga. If I'm wrong about that, then this is going to be very disappointing. <gasps> a Fiji Bandit. What are you doing in a, a cold beach or a snowy, snowy, snowy forest guy? This is definitely not the place for you. I also brought along, by the way, our other Andean Condor, which we have not named... Or, sorry, tamed, um, because we're going to release it back into the wild. Okay. All right. Here we go. We're, we kind of have to go this away. <laughs> this away. Boy, the stars are really out tonight. Look at how gorgeous this is. Oh, this uh, even underwater, it's gorgeous. And my shovel is hanging at the bottom of my boat. Speaking of weird things that are happening, I am not rowing this boat. I wish my hands actually, my arms actually moved while I was rowing the boat. But alas, that is not the case. Okay, where are we at on the map? Oh, right here. Perfect. Okay, so now I should probably sleep before heading on to the, the actual landmass. This is uh, might be a little tough to sleep. Hold on. Let me get my backpack ready. The coast looks relatively clear right now. I'm about to... Iceberg right ahead. Smash. Um, okay. Let's try... Oh, are these bats? They're butterflies. Okay. I thought for sure it was bats, but I'm an idiot. I, I didn't realize that butterflies are, 
a thing in here in this in this mod pack that I they have created. Okay, let's put this down. Let's sleep for a little while. This has got to be the place, right? What are you? Oh, you're you're um. Oh, geez, what's the name called? Oh, did I bring my book? Of course, I brought my book. Uh ah, oh, it's it's like on the tip of my tongue. Uh, ah, I didn't want to. I didn't want to hit it with the thing. No, stop, dude. Stop, dude. Dude, 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 dude. Stop it. Where are you? Sorry. Albatross. That's it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It was a trap. He's in cahoots. I wonder if this works on creepers. Sure does. It's been a long time since I fought mobs in this mod pack. Oh. Man, I waited too long to sleep. Okay, hi, squirrel guy. I don't see any of the European roe deer. This could be bad, guys. I could have sworn this was the, the biome. If I see some red red billed tropic birds, it would be great too, actually, because my, my mine died. The only one that I had. Uh, maybe some more of these guys eventually as well, but right now I'm okay. Oh, man, it's definitely not over there. I could have sworn it was a cold taiga biome. If it's not a cold taiga biome, I bet it's an extreme hills plus biome. Extreme hills with trees, I think. And there you have a huddle of walruses. Did you guys know that? I took a screenshot accidentally. That's a little bit of a little bit of a trivia thing for you. What do you call a group of walruses? A huddle. A huddle of walruses, probably because they resemble football players. American football I'm talking about, not the European kind. Okay. So I'm officially um, out of roe deer searching territory. Sentence totally made sense. Uh, okay, so where are we going now? This is Highlands. This is Taiga Hills. Hold on. Hold on. It could be a Taiga Hills. See, I remember Taiga, and then I remembered Extreme Hills. Maybe it was a combination of the two. Maybe it was a Taiga Hills biome that I saw them in last. Let's make our way over. This is it. This has got to be it. We got a welcoming committee. This has got to be it. This is bringing back memories. I think <laughs> it might. It might still be Extreme Hills plus M. Hey, buddy, have you seen some roe deer around here? You know what I could have done? Put down a bunch of the animal traders, and eventually they might have had European roe deer. This is the vile guy. He specializes in animal breeding. Awkward. This is not it. This is not. Mm, is that Extreme Hills? I don't think so. Okay. All right. That's fine. I mean, we're going to take a look anyway. It could be that they're further into the forest here, but I feel like I feel like it's going to be Extreme Hills. But, ooh, hello, Dolly. You, my friend, are a cool-looking frog. I don't know if I have any of you, but I got one now. How about you? You're just yellow. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that to sound so condescending. I apologize, uh, frog friend. Yeah, I don't think I see them here. It was worth it, though. We got a really bright orange frog. Um, ah, Back to the map, I guess. Look at this beautiful backdrop. You know, this would be perfect for one thing that we actually came to do today, and that is to release the Andean condor. I mean, what better place? It's no mountain, but it's very tall hills. Plus, you have some bird friends over there, more albatrosses. Um, this is it, buddy. This is for you, okay? You're going to be happy here. You're going to be... Look at you. Go. You're free. Go, Dude, you were never... There you go. I was gonna say you were never tamed. You're you're free to go. Guy, you gotta the hills are alive with the sound of freedom. Go. Oh, that's a wicked shot. Oh my god, that was beautiful. He does not want to leave. Maybe he really likes this hill. This is now his hill. It's official. Uh okay, well, I'm gonna have to go look for some extreme. I know where one is, it's just gonna take me a while to get there. Was that his shadow flying just now, or was that another co condor? I think it is his shadow. Oh, look at he's epic. Dude. What a great shot. Oh, I love shaders. Um, okay, anyway, I'm going to go find that uh, other Extreme Hills, which requires me going backwards for quite a ways. I will see you guys when I get there. Extreme Hills.
I made it. There's some cockatoos over there. Kind of weird to find them in an extreme hills biome, but I think I think this is the place. I hope this is the the, the ones with the, the extreme hills plus is what I'm talking about. Not just extreme hills. Let's see. That's nah, like shrubland or whatever that is. Anything over here, please? You're oh, that's a puma. Okay, or a cougar. Or are they the same thing? That's kind of weird. He just despawned like that while I was watching him. <laughs> um, okay. Ah, uh, this has got to be. This brings back memories. I feel like this is definitely. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's two of them right there. We're gonna catch a bunch of them. Wait. Before we do that, I, I should read up to see if they're solitary animals or group animals, pack animals. Um, we'll see. Nothing that I'm reading says they aren't. Um. A group of uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not pack animal, a group, uh, a community, and I don't know what the word you guys know what I'm talking about, though, right? English escapes me at the moment. It looks like there's two males right here. We're gonna go ahead and catch these two males, okay? Yoink! Oh, I said yoink. Good. The other one is in the tree where they are commonly found. Just kidding. Um, here, let's go around. Navigating these trees. Oh, yeah, he's a darker one, too. That's good. A different variation. I'm always looking for different variations. So, we've got two. We're going to try to maybe catch four females if they exist around here. There is another male. Okay, we're going to leave you be. It's another male. I mean, the males are the ones with the antlers, right? Okay, I think there might be a bunch over... That's another male. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure. Hey, come here. Yeah, this is a male. Alrighty. What about... You, you're you also a male. I'm telling you. Yeah, the male have the antler. The males have the antlers. And the female... Oh, what the heck, man? There's no females here? There's all males? I came all this way? But oh, there's another one there. Come on. One female at least. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's much better. Get a couple of these nets out. I think there's only one here, though. Thank you. Did you have friends? Oh, it's another male. Uh, We're going to go around this way. There's a rhino over there. I think this is still the same biome. Maybe they spawn in the coniferous forest too. But we're not going to find out just yet. I think that's the same biome. Looking at the mini map, it kind of looks like it. So let's just keep scanning the area here. For There's another male. What is with all the male deer? What's that one? That's going to be another male, I think. No, it's a female. Good. That's two females. Two males. There's another male. And a rhino. And another male. And another male. What is going on? Oh, oh, th this one's, I'm so sorry. The construction has already started on their exhibit. I have uh, dug out the bottom of this little river here. Everything, so if you guys noticed, by the way, I didn't find any more females. If you guys noticed, everything was kind of cold. Everything seemed cold, but without having any snow in it. So I'm thinking I'm going to try to recreate the same thing. We want things to look cold. Um, there was some green grass, so we're going to leave some grass. For the most part, I'm going to cover it in spruce trees. Now, we have to strategically place these trees. Otherwise, it's just not going to look good because we're not going to be able to see the deer at all. Um, also, I'm thinking for a barrier, like a fence, we put in actual um, fencing. Not really like that. I'm not sure if I should go. I don't want to go glass because these animals don't seem like they'd be like a glass kind of animal. They seem like they'd be like a... Just a, a wire fence type of animal. So we're going to try to find something appropriate uh, that kind of suits them. Um, they definitely won't be able to drown <laughs> in one deep water. This is this is not an infinite spring here, is it? How about that? There we go. Now stuff is happening. Uh, yeah, they won't be able to drown, which makes me happy. This is beautiful. I love it when the water just... It's like oddly... Sa you know the subreddit? If you guys visit Reddit at all, the oddly satisfying subreddit... I, I would I would post this there if, if I wasn't so afraid of, of backlash from the Reddit community. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, we're going to... What was I saying? Or was I talking about the trees? Was I talking about... Oh, they won't drown, which is good. Uh, that makes me feel good about that. 
Um, but also, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to put mainly trees in the back, like uh, or sorry, thick a thicker bit of trees in the back, and then a thinner line of trees in the front, so we'll be able to see them a little bit more. There will be no trees in front of the um, maybe one here actually. Yeah, I was gonna say no trees in front of the river, but maybe one there might not be a bad idea. I did get a bunch of these spruce guys. Let's go there. And then we'll do... Oh, I have to chop these down. They're, they're too lined up. How much do I get from one of these guys? Zero. I got zero logs. These took forever to grow. Zero logs there. Now you see why I chopped down a half of a spruce forest? What about you? Zero. Oh my gosh. I better have enough of these logs because... Uh, gonna be a bit of a pain to go back for more um should we do like a too high too high to put it right at eye level though you know what i might just use fence they can't jump over the fence and you can pet them i feel <laughs> for some reason i feel the need to pet these deer they look so friendly I'm trying something a little bit different for this exhibit. I want it to be a very, very, um, I guess speckled mixture of stone and grass. Uh, I don't, I haven't tried anything like this yet. I feel like it'll suit the, uh, the, the deer a little bit because again, it gives you that cold feeling. I don't know if I have enough of this stone though. Let me see. I almost shot the floor. Um, yeah, let me try this and see how it looks. I might eventually mix in some cobble, but I don't want it to be too textured. You know what? Let's leave that there. That's a mistake, but that might be a mistake worth making. That's not bad. You know what? At the end of the day, once all the trees are planted and all the shrubbery is put on, that might actually look very, very good. I'm kind of excited about it. Okay, now let's start planting thickly plant in the back here. Because we don't want them, we want them to feel safe and comfortable uh, in the back of the exhibit. Well, we want to push them towards the front. Should I leave the sand here? It does add a little bit of texture. You know what? Maybe we replace a bit of the sand here with just a little dirt. This probably, I don't think the grass will spread to it. And then we could plant one of these guys right there. So let's maybe do uh, a little bit more here. I don't know how thick this is going to grow in either. It could be that it doesn't grow very, in very thick and, and we, we might need to add more. But for now, let's kind of plant it along the edges here. It's a, lot, it's a good thing I chopped down all those uh, trees. Currently bone mealing, uh, but getting rid of the flowers. We don't want much color. I might add some blue flowers or purple flowers. I think that that's what they had in their biome was like purple flowers. So we might add those afterwards, but right now we just want it to be tall grass and uh, densely forested. And not too densely, which have to we have to strike a good balance here. Too densely forested, we'll never see the animal. So right now, this is, I think, a good... Let me see, let me step back. That, that's not bad. Where's my entrance? Right here. That's not bad. I feel like that's going to provide a nice little viewing area or a viewing uh, line of sight for these deer. We only have four. We have to breed them, though. Um, okay, we definitely have to add some more things. I'm thinking some stone buttons. Make it look like little rocks and stuff on the ground. No? Yes. I'm putting down some bluebells. In fact, that was the last one. I've got a bunch of them over here. Well, by a bunch, I mean like seven, maybe. Um, one thing that I also want to put down is some medium and some short grass because we don't want this to be too one-dimensional. We want this to have some different height, different, different dimensions. Even if it isn't very much medium and short grass, to me, it adds a little bit of extra detail here that you normally wouldn't see. Uh, so you got some short grass in some places. We'll, we'll leave some places bare like this. I might even put some silty, silty? No, coarse silty dirt down so that it looks like maybe that's where they congregate more often. Uh, I'm not even sure I'll be able to see the short grass back here, but we're putting it on there anyway because you never know. Uh, yeah, let's put some right there. Okay, a little bit more. I'm out of short grass. Do a medium here, and we'll do a medium here. 
<laughs> this is all very, very scientific. And then we'll do another medium, the last one here. And now I gotta go get more, um, period, because I don't think I have any left in my storage. Okay, that is looking really, really good. Really, really roe deery. I had an idea, and I don't know how you guys are gonna feel about it. Mixing in one flowering oak and one oak tree, just because right now it all feels very, very similar. So I'm thinking flowering oak right there, and then the other oak can probably go maybe back here. Let's see if that'll even grow back there, actually. I think that'll be that'll make it for make for a nice exhibit. Now I gotta go get some uh, coarse silty dirt and put that down in patches as well. What do you think? You know, to me, uh, to some of you, it might be crazy to, to add, like, a little bit of silt. Like, oh, why are you adding some coarse silty dirt beef? You're not even going to notice most of it. I mean, you'll notice the ones on the edge. But to me, it adds such a difference. Like, all of a sudden, it's not a plain, boring exhibit anymore. All of a sudden, I love it. And we've got some flax seeds that I'm going to add. I don't know if this is uh, technically where they grow <laughs> in this cold weather. Weather. Uh, but I feel like it'll it'll highlight the the bluebells a little bit. The bluebells are kind of purple, uh, but still it'll kind of highlight those guys a little bit and uh, just give it a bit more visual interest. And we want to put the taller plants in the back. Let me see here. Can't even see them. Where did I add them? There's one there. Okay. All right. That's fine. That's okay. Uh, this is this is good. Ooh, I think that thing just grew right in my right into my face. I really like this exhibit, actually. I don't think I've done anything similar to it. A sprucey exhibit. This is nice. Now, what the heck do these roe deer eat? Mm, any guesses, guys? Any guesses? I'm going to go into my holding pen, and we're going to release them. We're going to tame them, and then we're going to put them in their exhibits. I'm going to go right through. Here. I won't even cut the video here. I was going to cut it. You guys get the... Still noisy. But I don't see a lot. Oh, they're back there. Oh, wow. I think they're all stuck in trees. Oh, no. Guys. You guys were all stuck in the trees? How'd you do that? With all these eggs. Oh, my gosh. I don't think any of the eggs hatched. Wow, it's a good thing I came in here, huh? Oh, look. Look at this. Go, guys. You're free. I mean, I know birds like to be in trees, but that's a little ridiculous. I think I got them all out now. Any guesses as to what these guys eat? Uh-huh. Oh, really? You're going to make me go in there with you, are you? Do I have an ender pearl? I doubt it very much. There you go. Ungulate kibble, the same as the kangaroos. I might even... Don't you leave, though. I don't think they can get out. That's... No, I think they're fine. I might even have a couple of these. If I had four, that'd be great. But what are the chances? I have three bear kibble. I have one ungulate kibble. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. How do you make it again? It's been a while. Ungulate kibble. Seeds, wheat, apples, carrots, and kibble. Okay, I got the four ungulates. Oh, did I put that back? I think I did. I think I did. Where's my axe? Where's my... There it is. Thank you. Uh, okay, so let's release them. Way back. I didn't tame them yet because there's no point because then I got to pick them up again. So we're going to... Oh, I thought that, that glitched out. Come here. Come here. Look, at this is your place. This is your place. Congratulations. Just don't walk out of the exhibit while I'm doing this to your friends. Right, the other female, okay. The two females look exactly the same. That's a bit of a shame. I would have wanted a little bit more variation. A little more color variation, but that's alright. Oh, I almost... There you go, buddy. That's that's three. And now number four. There you go. That's four of you. Now, before we go in this episode, I want to breed them. So do I need an ungulate vial? I do. And what's it required for that? Just the ungulate kibble and and a water. That's right. It's just a, a water potion. This is great. These guys, by the way, their food is very, very different. These guys eat like saplings and, and nuts. And I guess some fruits here. Luckily, I have a bunch of acacia saplings, a couple spruce, and a couple acorns. So we're going to put this. Oh, we might be able to hide it. 
down in here. I think that's good. Let's put these guys in there. Does it show? Oh yeah, it shows inside. Uh, somebody commented again on my video about the frogs not having food. <laughs> guys, the frogs have food, I promise you. The frogs, they, they, they eat sugar and the sugar doesn't show up. That's why it looks like the barrel is empty. Just like this. It doesn't, it doesn't show as filled, but there's food in there. Okay, so they, they're enriched by tire swings. Now, I think maybe I'll put the tire swing here. There we go. Ah, it's right on the stone. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Here, let's silky touch that block, and let's move that stone, because that was stupid of me. Let's put that no right in front. No, that's a stupid place for it, too. Uh, right there. Beautiful. Okay, so you got the tire swing. I'm not sure how the heck you're going to play with tire swings, but you'll make it. Is this? Yeah, I don't think this oak tree is going to make it. Do I have... I don't have any more bone meal. Otherwise, I'd try to boost its growth a little bit. We'll see. At least it adds a different color variation. Even... There you go, little oak tree. You're, you're doing it. Uh, okay, so let's try to breed these guys. I got four vials. The problem is I don't think they could be very far away. Maybe we can control them. Here, come here. Hey, follow me. Follow, I said. Are you following? You're probably not following. You are following. Okay, you're going to stay. Stay right. Ugh. They do tend to wander a little bit. Now, your mate. Come here. Follow me. Follow. You're going to go over here next to this guy. Are you following? Of course not. Of course not. Oh, wait. You're not following, are you? Follow. Okay, good. Stay. Now, let's try to push together like that. Why did that guy move away? Maybe they're not attracted to each other. Bang and bang. Oh! <gasps> Oh my gosh! It's a Bambi! Oh, that is absolutely adorable. Oh, I love that so much. Okay. You are free to wander. I don't even know if that was the right one. You're free to wander. You're free to wander, and now it's raining. Oh, how does this look in the rain? Pretty epic. Pretty epic. I think we need another baby, though. Guys, we did it. One baby, two babies. And I think this one... Does it say... Oh, do you have to tame this as well? Ugh. Lonely female, variant zero. Now, the father is what variant here? Variant one. Variant zero. I think they're all variant zeros. Except for that one guy... Where's the other little baby? That's where's the baby? This this one? One of them variant one. Oh, okay, there you go. So that one did take after the dad. Dad's a variant one. That baby was just born, and now he's a variant one. Okay, I gotta sleep and then I gotta tame these babies. And I, I need a gate. I need a gate here, actually. And that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. Oh, look at the, my little family. Two little families. A mom, a dad, and a little baby. Oh, that's great. Oh, I love this exhibit. This is relaxing. This definitely needs like a, a park bench over here somewhere just to sit and, and just watch them because they're just so peaceful. They make a terrible noise, but they're just so peaceful. And that's going to be it for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Guys, let me just say this. If you stuck around this long in the episode, that means you really like this series. Let me just say this. There is something special coming very, very soon. I, I would say within a week or two of this episode that you might be interested in. That's all I'm saying for now. I don't want to make any promises I can't keep. Look at you. You're an adorable baby. Adorable. Um, but yeah, I'm glad you guys continue to tune in. Uh, this tree looks like it's doing some sort of dance. Like that hand is down and this hand is up. Uh, glad you guys continue to tune in. Glad you guys continue to support this series. I love it. I'm still having fun. Um, it takes a lot of time, though, to make one of these episodes. So that's why you've seen a decrease in episodes, because I started another series on Hermitcraft, which also takes a lot of time to make one of those, except making one of those gets triple or quadruple the views one of these gets sometimes. So maybe not quadruple, but about triple the views one of these gets. So it's it's more worth my time to, to use my time wisely on those episodes rather than these. So that's why these have diminished. But I still plan on finishing this zoo. And again, very big announcement coming in, uh, I would say, one or two weeks. 
So keep an ear out for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. See you next time. Bye-bye.